welcome to this video. Today we're gonna talk about painting and we're gonna start a STOP! How are you organizing your paints? Uh, um, what do you mean? I smell the influence of chaos in this painting room. There. No, I, I have my, I, I promise, I have my colors very much uh, organized and all the all the all the paints very organized I, I promise yes you better be i guess i didn't smell the scent of chaos in this painting room i will be back to review your organization of paints for safety reasons we are going to do a different video today Apparently, we have to organize our paints in a better way than I have currently. So today we're gonna build a painting rack. And I started out by cleaning up the area that I want to install the painting rack in. So this is where I store all my paints right now. It is a complete mess and paints everywhere. It's not very organized, let's say that. So I started by cleaning that up and then I started to take the measurements that I needed. For me, I needed to measure the width of the drawer and also the width of a citral painting bottle. And I also took the measurements of a spraying can. So for me, this will mean that I will build a painting rack that are around 75 centimeters wide and around 80 centimeters high and the painting rack itself will be around seven centimeters deep in that way i know that i can fit a spraying can or one row of spraying cans and a minimum of two rows of citadel painting bottles on each rack so when i had all of the measurements that i needed it was time to bring out the tools so the first tool is a circular saw after that, you need a screwdriver, a multi-tool, a measuring tape, screws and nails. And then you will need a hole saw drill bit, some wood glue, sanding paper for the multi-tool, spray paint, and you need some material to work with. I have chosen a very cheap plywood and you also need a pen or something to mark up the measurements with. I didn't have a pen nearby, so I used my box cutter. So my idea is to build a very simple paint rack. It will basically be a rectangle with six shelves in it. Each shelf will be able to hold around nine or 10 bottles of paint in the front row and a similar number in the back row, as well as a few miniatures. So in total, it will be seven shelves for the paint and miniatures and one bottom shelf for the spray cans. So you start by taking out all the measurements on the material that you're using. Each rack is actually two pieces. The top part is the part that I'm going to drill the holes in and the bottom part will provide the base for each shelf. So all in all, my painting rack consists of 17 different wooden parts. And the worst part about cutting in plywood, basically it's just a machine gun of splinters when you cut into it. When I had all my pieces, it was time to start to put them together. I started by putting together the outside or the walls of the painting rack, if you can call it that. When I had a frame, I started to put in the shelves or the bases to each shelf. Then it was time to create the pieces that actually hold the pits in place and they would go on top of the bases that are already mounted on the frame. Then it was time to sand the paint rack when all of the sand was complete, it was time to glue everything together. So now with everything was put together and sanded down, it was time to paint it. And I had originally thought to paint it in white. I had bought a very cheap hobby paint from the hardware store. But I noticed when I started using this that it gave very bad coverage. So after a while, I actually changed my mind and went for the black color. So I didn't have any black hobby paint at home. The only black hobby paint I had was the Chaos Black. They are used for my miniatures and that paint is pretty expensive but you use what you have and I had Chaos Black spray paint so I started using that. My idea was that the black color would actually hide not all but many of the small grooves and irregularities in the wood and the material. This is the first time that I build a painting rack and the first time that I build 
as small furniture. So it is what it is. But after I painted it black, it was time to let it dry. Now I think it's time for, as Squidmar would say, the grand reveal. Yes, very well. Yes, as, uh, as I told you before, the shelf is... Uh, yeah, my, my, my paint organization is very good. Um, I have all my paints in a good, non-heretical way. S standard way, I, I think. Yeah. I guess I was wrong. You are not part of... <coughs> I mean, you are not part of uh, those heretics. The standard heretics, non dark angels heretics, obviously. So, nothing to see here. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, I'm not very happy about this shelf because the finish of the shelf is not very good, <laughs> actually. It's pretty bad. I haven't built small furniture, so it's pretty new to me. And, um, yeah, I guess kind of hard uh, also. All in all, I'm happy that I now can organize my paints in a better way and I'm going to build a better shelf in the future. Maybe with the same design or some tweaks, but a, out of a better material overall and probably in a different color this time. Yeah, so please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.